What is good, y'all? It's Sierra Films here, and today we're out at the range, about to run some drills with the G19. Running a new Alien Gear holster that I'm reviewing right now, but um, today's product that we are going to be reviewing is the Zohan Competition Timer. Now, this timer, um, when I get home, I will give you guys um, some more modes on it, but this is like um, like the fifth range session that I take it to. It has roughly like 1,600 rounds through, and it, it, it works good. As you guys can see, I've been running it through the dirt, all that accurately gets all the times and everything but i'm going to post some footage of us shooting on um, this rain session with this timer and then when we get back to the crib i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys some of the more features that it has and some of the things that i wish it would have on it So as y'all can see, man, we are back at the crib now, um, a whole nother day later. Try to get this video done as soon as I got back to the range, but it was just, I had so much planned after the range that it just, it just worked me into today and today is Sunday, just got back from church. So figured I'd speak to you guys a little more. So the timer, as you guys can see, it works flawlessly, man. Um, that's why I've been using a train. That's kind of what I've been using to take my train to the next level. And it works immaculate. We put that thing to like around 1800 rounds now. As you guys can see, um, we are out in the desert when we shoot, so the timer does, you know, lay sometimes on the floor, sometimes it falls, stuff of that nature. So it does get, it has gotten dirt on it, it has taken a couple falls, um, a little bit of stuff like that, you know, like just regular stuff that happens, mistakes that happen. So um, and it has held up good. So man, y'all could use um, code 10 shot timer to get a 10% discount. We'll be dropping the link down in the description. I mean, the timer is pretty pretty basic as far as like when you click the go button it can go off either instantly or you can put it on a three second delay i personally like doing the three second delay because um it's kind of hard to catch it whenever somebody else is hitting the timer for you and then they ask you if you're ready and then they randomly click it those three seconds you'll never be able to count them down so yeah i think that that's pretty cool that that timer has that and that's kind of how i i run it but yeah man make sure y'all go ahead and check out zohan links will be in the description i think if you're like into like EDC and carrying and all of that stuff. I feel like everybody should have a set standard like with a, a shot timer, like you should be able to draw your firearm from concealment in a waistband and be able to fire off one shot in a certain amount of time. Uh, outer waistband, same thing. Um, stuff like that, you just create certain drills and stuff like that. And it just, it, it overall makes the training experience a lot better, a lot more fun. My wife was like, did not want to go ahead and do that. And when she started seeing her, she doesn't have a holster. She was just going ahead and she was at the sole position, the low ready, and then she would basically time roll go off. She would present out and shoot one shot. And she honestly saw the improvement with that in one session. And she just wants to continue doing that and adding other stuff. So like I said, yeah, man, the shot timer is super fun. Hope you enjoyed this video, man. Like, subscribe, peace. We do have a bunch of more shooting content on the way, as I stated. And like I showed you guys, man, we do have a new shooting spot. So yeah, peace.